What if I told you that tarantulas are actually not the real tarantula? But first we need to go out to get something because we need to go to the forest. I need to get some dirt that I will use later in this video. But the actual reason why I will show you boring dirt in the forest is because in some of my older enclosures, enclosure builds, I was using a dirt for the background. And I had a lot of questions about what type of dirt it is and how it's holding so well. So now for those people, I will show you from where and how I get the dirt and why it's holding so well. So as I said, we are going to the forest and this is that forest. And this is not the one where I found the scorpions. This is just some small, small forest that is really close to my apartment. That's why I'm going here. And this is where we will enter. But first I need to lock my bike. The only reason why I take dirt from the forest is because in theory it should be cleaner than the one that you can get from your garden i mean from around my apartment but other than that the type of dirt is the same it just it should be cleaner so now i'm just heading deeper in the forest looking for a spot where i will dig some of that dirt and at the same time i'm keeping an eye on cool logs that we could use in some future enclosures and oh mushrooms <laughs> and that is the fun part when you go to the forest you never know when you will find some cool log that looks awesome and that will make your enclosure look twice as awesome this plant i forgot the english name but it is called kupina on creation anyhow this is what jungle nymphs eat and i will also take some of this for the jungle nymph so i guess this is the spot where i will start digging This is for the digging and I will fill this box. So first what you need to do, you need to remove the top layer that contains all the dead leaves and stuff. So just remove that until you reach the this part. You see, the deeper you go, the more cleaner dirt will be. I mean, that's all logical, right? So you see, this is dead dirt. I'm not sure if here in Croatia we have different type of dirt than you have in US for example but that is it I don't add anything to it so it sticks it's just a regular dirt that they dig if you go deeper there is less roots and on top there is a lot of them as you see so depending on what you need it's maybe best to take an actual shovel and that's it that's the dirt also when you need leaf litter this is perfectly fine. You just need to know the type of trees that grow in exact forest. So you will know if the, if the leaf litter from that forest is safe or not. And the safest thing is to boil it to make sure that you don't bring any parasites or anything harmful to your enclosure. Now let's head back and look what I found. I found the dark den. I'm not really knowledgeable about that stuff, but I assume it could be a fox nest. Who knows? And you see, this is the type of logs that can be proved to be useful for the enclosures. You see, it has a nice hole here and it is not holding that well. I could probably dig it up really easy. I should remember this location and come back later. Or maybe I should take it now. This is much bigger than I thought. Whoa, may I say? Look at that. It has a lot of details. And I can't really bring it now, but I will remember this location. So I will come back in a few days for this baby. I really like it. It has a lot of potential. So good. This will be awesome for some vivarium, paludarium whatever cool let's continue stay there and wait for me i'll be back all right 
Now with that done, I can get to the main point, I mean main story of this video. A few months ago I've been to vacation with my family and we were in one village near Zadar. So I was outside with my brother, we were checking out the area, scouting for anything. And my brother spotted this hole in the ground. And my immediate thought was, there has to be a spider inside. So after a bit of teasing with a twig, a wolf spider showed out. And I was so happy with that discovery because I knew that there's a possibility to find one exact species of wolf spider. And the Latin name of that species is Lycosa tarantula. That's the original tarantula. At that time I was only sure that it is some type of wolf spider. But I was crossing my fingers. Fortunately, as always, I had a spoon in my backpack. So after a bit of digging and poking, the spider finally got out and I managed to get him in a catch cup. Yes, I always take catch cups when I go to vacation. That's like a must have for me. And that was it, we managed to cause the wolf spider. I also had a drone with me, so I made a couple of aerial shots, so you can get the idea of what sort of terrain is there. I mean, how its habitat looks like. So yeah, I have it right here. And you can see that it molted once and it completely changed its appearance. Here is the molt. But it's still from the front side. You see how it looks. I also think that I have a clip before it molted, so you can compare how it looked and how it looks now, because it really changed its appearance. Here I have that other wolf spider, and the funny story is this local wolf spider was found and caught by my brother's friend Dennis. So we are both wolf spiders are linked with my brother, but you can see that they look different. Where are you going? It is moving. And also I want to point one thing, I'm still not 100% sure that this is Lycosa tarantula. It was identified by a couple of my friends from the pictures and identifying spider species from the pictures can sometimes be not the best way to identify the species. But since multiple people said that this is Lycosa tarantula, I will assume that that is true. So why is this original tarantula? Back in the day, a long long time ago before Europeans discovered other continents. I mean, before we discovered North and South America, all bigger ground dwelling spiders were called tarantulas. So when those Europeans went to South America and they saw huge, huge spiders, they just called them tarantulas and the name just stuck, even though this is the real tarantula, or if you pronounce it on Latin, tarantula. That is a really interesting story and I think that every keeper should know the origin of the name, but in science tarantulas are referred as Terraphosidae, that is how they are called. Now this was the setup, how I kept the wolf spider, yeah that's Harry Potter car because that's how the spider from Harry Potter looks like, but I really didn't know how they exactly live in nature, I didn't found it so I didn't know, but since I found this spider, I mean my brother found it. I know that he would like me to point that out. I saw exactly how they live in the nature and this is really not a good way to keep a wolf spider. So I want to make a hole for him. That's why I got the dirt. Because I will make a hole using balloon technique. And I will show you exactly how that technique works. I will use this to house it. And you take balloon, you put it inside, and then you fill everything with dirt, let it dry out. Once the dirt is dry, pop the balloon, take it outside, and you will have a nice, nice hole. That is how balloon technique works. And I will try to make a hole against the plastic, so that way I will be able to see inside of its hole and monitor it. So let's do this regarding using the dirt in enclosures. Usually the good idea would be to bake it in the oven, so that way you will probably kill majority of bad stuff in the dirt. But since this is wild caught spider and it was already exposed to those stuff from the nature, I think it will be just fine. First step is to fill the bottom. Now to get it even. Now the balloon. And that is it. I know that it looks like a sausage. <laughs> Let's now wait for it to dry a bit. The sausage is ready. I will just cut it like that and pull it out. And there is our hole. We had some decoration and it should be ready for transfer. Now, in the meantime, 
I also did another enclosure because I need to transfer both wool spiders. It is already set up. There's the hole. Here is the window. So first we will transfer the local wolf spider. Puddle. Local wolf spider. They can't really climb plastic, so I'll just try to scoop him inside. And I hope he's not long enough to reach the outside edge. <laughs> we will see. <laughs> he just dropped. He can't reach the ledge. Now he just needs to find the hole. If he moves. In the meantime, we can do some nice close-ups. A bit skinny, I should probably feed it once it finds the entrance. Whoa! Whoa, he actually bite it. Look, I'm pretty sure he would do the same thing to my finger. Come on, explore some more. In the meantime, I will add some stuff to this enclosure. Just some leaves and twigs to make it feel more natural. Some dried moss, same thing like in this enclosure. It is really looking around. Wrong gauge, buddy. This was a really cool shot. Oh, oh. Hell yeah. There we go. Enjoy your new home, buddy. Now to rehouse the tarantula. There it is. Now to find... Oops. Now to find the hole. Where did you go now? Well, I guess eventually it will find it. And the other one is also outside again. But there you have it, my two wolf spiders both got new enclosures. And once they settle in, I expect that they will use their holes. So in next feeding video, I will feature them. And by the way, this weekend, once again, I'm heading over to Budapest to visit Terra Plaza. But this time I don't plan to get any animals, only fruit flies and some lateralis roaches that I'm missing a bit. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did thumbs it up and comment something. If you are new to this channel make sure to subscribe, if you want to support this channel even more there is a Patreon page, I upload every Monday and Friday so see you again soon, bye!